All right, everybody, this is Mass Crusader here, and I want to talk today. This is my mod spotlight on Magic Launcher for Minecraft. Uh, Magic Launcher, uh, the link in the description below is to the, the thread on the Minecraft forum for it. But what it does is it manages your mods for you. Most mods have the ability to, uh, not the ability, but the uh, requirement that you have to manually install them. You have to open your Minecraft.jar. You have to... Uh, to put the files in there or some files in there and whatnot. Well, the Magic Launcher takes care of all of that for you. Uh, let me show you what it does. First, there's some, this is the, the different feeds that it has built in. It has the standard Minecraft uh, feed that's on the regular Minecraft Launcher. Uh, it has a Minecraft Reddit feed. It's got Notch's Twitter feed. It's got Jeb's Twitter feed. It's got the word of Notch, the blog, I suppose, is there. I don't know what that is. The word of notch. It's got the Minecraft forum feed and it's got the wiki feed that you use to view stuff. But um, let's talk about this. It has a link to create an account. It has the ability to remember you, your username and password. Um, those are your Minecraft username and password or your Mojang username and password, depending on if you've migrated your account or not. You guys know my email address, whatever. Um, under login, of course, logs you in. Options uh, sets up whether you to download like a snapshot of Minecraft. If you bring that up, it takes you to a page of the snapshots on the wiki. Sorry, my screen is not quite as big. Uh, so you can get that, whatever. You can force update if it sees Minecraft. I got my Minecraft.jar named differently, so it doesn't show up here. Um, and that's one thing you can do. You can you can uh this is going to set up so this is my minecraft vanilla i've renamed it minecraft 1.2.5 v for my vanilla jar and for the most part you can test it it just it just creates a game logs in and i'm right now i'm using the john smith texture pack now it's an hd texture pack and this is what happens when you launch hd texture packs without using uh the hd patcher textures are all messed up when you're looking at it with regular uh, Minecraft. You have to use, they tell you that you have to use the MC patcher, uh, the HD MC patcher to be able to patch it for high def. But there is a mod, and if I add a mod, it's called uh, Optifine. I'm sure you heard of it. It adds a bunch of features to uh, Minecraft for ultimate stuff. Normally, you have to really patch your, your system to run Optifine. This will use my vanilla jar, it will patch it on the fly. And it'll fix all those those visual bugs with the John Smith texture pack. So if we lo launch it, go back into my text world, my test world, you'll see all the textures are fixed. This is what is so awesome about this mod is it allows you to just put something in there. Okay, another example. So Optifine is fine. We can remove Optifine. So let's say I want to use the Minecraft Forge, the MC Forge. Uh, we add Minecraft Forge client. If we add the Forge client, it will load it up and it says, uh oh, you don't have Mod Loader. And it tells you right there, you need to install Mod Loader. So you click add, you find Mod Loader for the version you have, you put it in the right order, and they will say okay, and you're set to use the Forge. That's it. I mean, we can change our texture pack to default so that everything works great. Uh, test world. Come on, open. And there are our normal textures. The textures are back, whatever. Now, if you want to load a mod that requires the, the forge, you can do it right off the bat. It's just so amazing. So let's go ahead and remove these. Another example, I want to install too many items. Too many items can cause many problems, and you have to install things in certain order. OK, here's my example. I want to install too many items. I want to install, add, I want to install, uh, let's do the single player commands. Single player commands works out of the box, but there's still no mod loader. So you have to add the mod loader and you put it in the right order, up, up, and everything's okay. Now the, the thing about this too is if you try to do this manually, you have to install them in like the perfect order or else you're going to just mess up your game this 
application allows you to uh, do that in the right order. Let's say that you have a mod loader, mod loader uh, plugin mod that you want to use that requires mod loader. Well, I just happen to have that. Tree Capitator is one. Requires mod loader. Just install it. Boom, it's good to go. And all of these just install on the fly. You, uh, you, you don't have to worry about, uh, uh, what's the word, about it being compatible. It does compatibility for you. It takes care of everything for you. Now, see, I've got uh, single player commands on, so I can just type my command, call myself God, and it, whoops. And now, whoops. Oh, I'm not on multiplayer. Ha ha. Uh, damage is the command. And now my damage is turned off. And it's that easy. I didn't modify my jar. If I go ahead and quit this, save and quit, and quit, I have not modified my jar. It is still the vanilla jar. It does all of this, all the back end work for you. So if you have a mod, or if you want to install mods, but you just can't ever get it to work, Magic Launcher is your answer. So I've got another one. This is the, the version I play on most often. Uh, there's an error with save point chest, but it still works. Um, if there's major errors, instead of being just one, it'll show, uh, what's the word? It'll show more than one error and it'll show it red if it's uh, impossible to use. Things like save point chest, that has to be installed into your Minecraft jar. Tree Capitator doesn't. Tree Capitator actually works by itself. I don't have to have it in the mods. I can actually put it in manage and I can uh, install mods there if I want. Uh, and then in advanced, you can set the initial size of your window. So if you want it a certain size, this is HD, but scaled up a little bit. You can specify how much memory you want Minecraft to run with instead of the standard one gig. I've got four gigs dedicated to it. Uh, you can choose which version of Java you want to run with. If you've got multiple JREs installed or JDKs or whatever, you can tell which one you want. If you want to modify anything by the command line, you can. And again, if you want to uh, choose a different folder for where you want Minecraft to run, you can specify that as well. Whoever built this mod, the guys were awesome because it's ju it just works. So, we'll just cancel that and it'll take me back to the regular f screen. I will load up my mods game and I will log in and it does log in just fine. It blows the screen up very large, but it starts it at the size that I asked it to start at. So you only see a teeny portion of it, but it just works. It is very nice, very awesome. So. Uh, anybody who's running Minecraft wants to run mods but doesn't want to have to mess with installing mods and getting them installed in the right order, this is the, the tool for you. This is Master Shader. Uh, thanks for watching this mod spotlight. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, feedback is great. Uh, if you want to see more video games and mod spotlights and other stuff from the Master Shader, click subscribe above. And I will see you next time.